Hi, today we're going to be treating a wart on one of my patients. Now, warts are a very common problem that we see on people ranging in every age, from young people to uh, very old adults, and it's something that is a virus that is caused by the human papillomavirus. There are millions of treatments for warts, including cutting them off, burning them off, poisoning them, and doing other invasive treatments for them, but there's no one 100% successful treatment for them. We're still working on it. I like the DNCB method, the poison method, but I also do other methods like freezing, cutting, burning, lasering of warts, and each of them has its own role. Generally, I would say that warts have about a 50 to 75 percent chance of cure, but there's no one cure that is particular to each treatment. Well, I was looking at my son's hand and I noticed a lump on it, so I thought I should take him to a dermatologist to have it checked, so I decided to take him to a skin specialist. And when we got here, Dr. Schlesinger said that it was a wart and that we needed to treat it with some chemical that's a poison. So today we brought him in and he's going to have that done. So a wart treatment that we're going to do today is a poison. It's actually a very dilute poison called DNCB, dinitrochlorobenzene, but it's something that we use on multiple occasions with patients. As you can see, warts are a very common problem and one that we can treat easily. Well, when I was a child, I had some warts because I was a lifeguard for many years. And the treatment was give a shot of Novocaine or something in your foot, it was in my foot, and then they would burn it and you could just smell it. Then they would send you home and you would be in pain, you could hardly walk for hours for sure and, and probably even days. And they would have to repeat that until all the warts were gone. So I'm so glad that there is something less primitive than what I had done when I was a child. So if you have a wart, you should seek the expert advice of a dermatologist, or alternatively, you can try over-the-counter methods initially, see if they work, and if they don't work, seek the care of a professional. Thanks for joining us today.